Hi, I'm Spencer Smith, Director of Libraries for the City of McKinney, and today I'd just like to introduce you to some of our new technologies that we have in the libraries. So if you've been in the John and Judy Gay branch recently, you'll notice we have two new staff members. Uh, there are robots, there are Orion Star robots. They use what's called LiDAR to navigate around the building. And the robots actually attract people to put those books instead of back on the shelf onto the robot, which brings it back to us. So not only is staff not having to go over there and rearrange as much, but we're actually getting a better count of what's being used in the library. We're gonna keep uh, trying to get them more functions. One of them will now actually guide you to places. So if you come in and you wanna know where the teen section is, uh, you press the button, follow the robot, it'll take you over to the teen section. And so anytime we can get robots or automation that can pull some of that tedious work off of our people and allow them to redirect, that's you know top of our, our to-do list every single time. It's not replacing people in any way, it's just allowing us to use them for things only humans can do. So libraries have had 3D printers almost from the invention of 3D printing. The problem that they face for most libraries, especially busy libraries, is they serve relatively few people because they take a long time to get each print job done. They take up a lot of square footage on the floor and a lot of staff time. So recently we were taking a look at a way that we could help expand our collection and provide new technology uh, to our public and did a lot of research to find that we could actually find 3D printers that came at a price point and a service level that we could check out to our patrons. So that allows us to offer the makerspace experience and the education that comes with learning that program, but allow it to our public to do it on their time. So you can print at 3 a.m., you can print uh, over and over again if there's a mistake, and you can go through that iterative process, and they take up a very small amount of space in your home. We would love for nothing more than one of our 3D printers to be used in a prototype of something that goes big. And hopefully our business community and just our inventor community and creator community here in McKinney can take advantage of that. Another recent uh, piece of equipment that we've acquired at the library is our archival scanner. So this is at the Roy and Helen Hall location and it will allow you to uh, scan your old photos, your old documents, and it will sort them for you and create high quality scans. So if you have an old family cookbook that's falling apart, this has a cradle, you can cradle it turn page by page, it'll scan, it'll do text recognition if, it, if it's available, and then you can create a digital copy of your old family cookbook or family scrapbook or family Bible, and then be able to share that with everyone so they can all have access to the digital copy. Another really neat thing it will do, it will take that scan, especially like of a newspaper or a magazine article, and it will turn it into an MP3 file. So if someone is visually impaired, they can get an audio version of that scan. So anything that's in the library now is accessible to those with visual impairment. So we have seen people come in and use it for their personal photo collections. Uh, it'll save a lot of time. So if you have 10 photos, you can lay all 10 down and it'll scan them as 10 different documents, uh, which is nice if you've ever gone through a project like that. Um, but we've also used them internally for our digital exhibits where we'll scan old uh, newspaper articles, old photos from the library, old yearbooks, and, and it allows us to create a digital exhibit about that. So anyone can do that with the technology that we have. For more information about new technologies and services at the library, please visit our website at mckinneypubliclibrary.org.